Hello my friends, my name is DadCraft73 and welcome back to another episode of Engineer's Life. I hope you're having a good old day. I am doing my best to have one. Today's Saturday. Oh man, it's the weekend. I was ready. Hey, I just was over here a second ago trying to verify something that you guys said. You know how like you can go down here and you can like right clip right click crops and harvest them um, I didn't know that you could do that with hemp as well but someone pointed out in the comments and right there it's got to be full grown like it's got to have these three stalks on it like this like this one works but like this one doesn't okay but that's awesome and that's a way to harvest hemp and get a couple more seeds because we just still need a couple but we're almost got this our whole a little patch filled out here and we've got well over a stack of hemp now I don't know if that's going to be enough but I think it's going to be a start that's for sure now our goal today is to make some progress down through the world of better with mods um, I just got the rest of the creosote oil that was in here we're about to have a little bit more but I got those two buckets out of there that was left from our last episode and I made a couple more pieces of treated wood so we need to jump in here and start looking at quests we also made the hand crank so you know we might be able to do some stuff today I'm hoping so so let's go here, let's go to the thing, and let's go mechanical age. All right, so we did the hand crank, we did hemp. We can't do the light blocks, we haven't been to the nether. Uh, what is this? Oh, oh, torch array. What is that? I don't even know what that is, torch array. Or torch arrow. Torch array. <laughs> oh, but I had to do some uh, development work today at work and dealing with some arrays that I passed pass back and forth between a couple systems and uh that was in my brain i guess even though that was like several hours ago but anyway so torches we have to make and i think the deal is we can make torches with creosote and we get 12 if we use a piece of wool and i think we have some wool where's our like organics chest here yeah we have a couple Okay, well, we'll do that. We'll knock that out just as that little side quest. I mean, we might as well. That gives us 12 torches for the cost of one bucket of creosote oil, which is pretty amazing. We just have to wait that out. All right, but let's take a look here because that's not really what we're focused on. We want to do this millstone. The millstone is a contraption made from heavy stone. When mechanical power is applied, the gear inside is turned. The gear crushes some raw materials and fine materials. And maybe Okay, so the millstone grinds up stuff, and this is how we have to make it. So we need another wooden gear, which we already know that it's this recipe. That's not a problem. And then it's just stone. It has to be stone. All right, let's look at our stone chest. Do we have, like, some stone? Didn't I have save some? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go over here and get these guys out of there. I don't need a chest. We got to make a couple more sticks, and then we can make uh, this, one of these, and then we should be able to make the millstone. Like this. Bang. Okay. We have a bronze coin that we got from somewhere. Let's put that in there. Our inventory's a little out of control. Let's tighten it up just a little bit while we're here working on stuff. This goes into this chest. Can I like combine anything? We gotta fix this. One, two, three, four, five. Let's fix that while we're messing around. Here's our organics chest. This is oh food. We might need that in a moment. Um, do we have like a we're putting that stuff in there? Yeah, string goes in there. Um, I also I guess can make um wool out of that I don't know for sure but whatever all right so if I go here and let me see if I do this like a cobblestone recipe yeah can I do this yeah boy that way we can crank a bunch of that away in a hurry there we go that turned like five stacks into just a couple I don't know about you but that clicking noise is super loud all up in my ear I hate it so much. Okay, so now we have the millstone. Let's complete our quest. We're going to get some <laughs> hemp seeds. We're already all over, guy. And then, uh, yeah, and then that we already did. Okay. And then witch's brew. The cauldron is a large iron vat that functions like a chest unless it's directly above a fire block. If it is, it slowly processes any valid recipe in its inventory one at a time. It should be noticed that more advanced reactions like rendering into glue require the flames underneath the cauldron to be stoked, which is only possible with hibachis. Yeah. Reactions requiring a regular flame such as cooking or boiling will not 
Proceed when it's heated by a stoke flame. Okay. So, yeah. So we need some things. We should already have some low-grade charcoal. What is this? Iron lumps. Cauldron. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. All right. So do we remember how to make iron lumps? And do we even have enough iron to do it? Tin ore. We have this. We have this. So I want to say that these are going to convert into... Let me see. Iron lump. I'd like to get all this stuff made, and then we can figure out what we need to do. Yeah, okay, so it's like a one-to-one. -one. Oh my goodness. How many of these things do we actually need? Cauldron. Cauldron is nine iron lumps. That means... No. Seven. That's half of these. So that means like this, right? And then we go here... Seems kind of weird, but I'll do it. And that gives us those. And then we could take that and make a cauldron. Okay. And then a, uh, make a that the regular Minecraft cauldron. And then... Does it really take a bucket of creosote? Where is my... Um... This. Okay. Let's take this over here. And we might as well get this because we'll make torches, I guess. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll do that in just a second. So now we need. Uh, what is that? Is that just a bone? Okay. So we got to go keep one of these, convert all of these. Wow, that just burned through like all the iron I had. And then we go like so. We get six of these. Okay. And now can we make this? Well, we just need the bone, which we didn't get yet. Okay. Cauldron. Better with mods. There we go. Okay. So we got that. So that's knocked out now. So we need whittled fire sticks. Yeah, there's the, that's this silly thing. Where's my blade? It's right here. We gotta do two of these, I guess. So we go like this and this. Okay, and then somewhere, low-grade charcoal, okay, there, right, back, all right, and now claim, we get a witch's bo or a, a bottle, okay, all right, now we have tan leather, normal, processing normal leather inside a millstone removes any res residual flesh and blood that could cause some leather to be decomposed with time, this produces scoured leather, which can be processed in a cauldron with bark to produce tan leather. Okay. Bark. Scoured leather goes into the millstone. Okay, so is this is this what we're, we gotta do? So it wants us to make tan leather, right? Just one piece. So we gotta make scoured leather, which means millstone, a regular piece of leather. Okay, well, let's do the thing. Now, we gotta figure out where we're, we're getting a little cramped over here. And I think we're gonna end up having a fairly large, better with mods setup. So we need to figure out where we're gonna put some of this crazy stuff. I don't know what the answer is. I mean, I sort of wanted to have like an underground workshop. And then just bring motive power in. But, you know, it seems like underground workshops are, like, what we always do. You know what I could do? Is I could get some dirt. I need to sort of, like, fix this mess. Oh, you know what I had this? Oh, actually, I have a great idea, I think. I have something that I think we can do. I think I know what we could do. I had this idea. I was actually... <laughs> I don't know if you do this, but I was thinking about Minecraft. I was in bed, getting ready to go to bed. I was late in the middle of the night. And I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with a couple things in this crazy game. And I thought, I think I'd want to have like an underwater like entrance to an underground base. Nothing too fancy. right? Just a little something where we can go like kind of hang out. Can I like go... So like this is already like pre-made for us, right? So here's like a thing. So if I fill in Okay, 
Yeah, let's not drown. Hello? Oh, it's a little hard to get out of the water. Okay. All right. I want to try to like make like an area. Okay. Now what's happening here? Let's uh, fill that in. That in. This fix this water issue that we have, so it's better. Yeah. So now that's like a a little. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. I think we might have to do like a little bit more. Okay. All right. So that's okay. Let's sleep through the night real quick. And then we're going to just make ourselves a little bit... I think that's... Even though I just said I didn't want to do an underground workshop, this is a little bit different, I think. Um, I, I do need... How, is there like... There's not some crazy recipe to making ladders, right? Just sticks. Normal. Okay. So if I go and get... Was it seven? Seven sticks to make a couple ladders? All right, let's go here. You come out of there. Oh, we didn't get lose our bucket. That's cool. I didn't really pay attention to that. Now we have a couple of these. All right, so now if I go back underwater, right, and I say... Do I have a shovel in my inventory? Please don't drown. Just hang with me here a second. All right, go down here. Why am I doing it from this side? Dummy. I can go here. Right, so we gotta dig out a couple blocks here and there. Okay. Why does it not flow in there? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. All right, and then here can be like the startings of our underground area, right? So the only thing I'm not sure how we're gonna handle. We can fill that in. That's not. We can like even mound that back up so it looks kind of cool. But this could be like our the start of our little underground water entrance base. My plan was to put some ladders there, but it feels like something's up with the water around here. Like it's not a full source block. Like. If it was a full source block, okay. Oh, oh, oh! Hold on. Yeah, if it's full source blocks, it would flow in there, which is what sort of what I want. And then my idea was that I was going to hold it back with ladders. I know it was kind of weird that we we just made it like that, but whatever. That's how I want it to be. So if I go like so, yeah, we're going to clear all this out. This is all coming out. My pick's about to break. That's okay. And then, this can be like our doorway entrance. Like so. Right? And then I can do ladders to hold the water back. Yeah. Just like that. And then I can go in and out if I want to. So this is how we're going to go out. It's going to be a little weird to go out. But at least we can we can do it. Right, and then this is all going to get closed in. I do have to put a torch. Let me just put a temporary torch right there so I can close off the rest of this. Boom. boom. Okay. There. Now, no one will ever know. Oh, hey, this is a cool little encampment. And then in reality, we'll be able to go down here through this little super secret entrance. And then we'll be able to come into our super cool underground area. So, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to probably want to do, just because it's super boring and we're not really able to dig all that fast, is go off camera for a little bit and at least hollow out a little bit of an area where I think we can do some better with mod stuff. Now, at some point, we may have to go up through the ground and put, like get up there somewhere if we want to do like a, a windmill because that's part of the things i'm pretty sure we'll probably have to do with better with mods but we should be able to do like water wheel and all that kind of stuff yeah my pick just broke all from inside okay all right so i'm going to 
head up here, repair my pick, do a little bit of digging, and I'll bring you back on the other side, and then we'll see if we can't make some of this tan leather. Yeah? All right, I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I've got myself a little bit of an underground. I did a little bit of change. I'll show you in just a second. Just um, the entrance. I didn't end up liking the way that it was, so I made a little bit of a modification, but nothing major. Uh, but I think we're ready to try to make this crazy scoured leather. We should have some leather. Yeah, we do. Okay, so all I need to do, though, before we go all crazy, is make some torches. Okay. Torch. This. Oh, it's three sticks. Okay. Okay. Let's go make some crazy torches. We'll get credit for it, right? So we'll go here, and we're going to use this. We get 12 torches. Now that should give us credit for a quest. This little guy. Ah, okay. Then we get these torch arrow arrows. I don't really know what torch arrows are, but, you know, I'm down with whatever they want to give me. So I'll put that in there. We might use those when we have a bow. But now we have some more torches, which we need just to light up uh, things a little bit, I believe. All right, now let's take a look here. So we've got to go put our cauldron down. Um, I do have this book, and I just want to read really quick the cauldron items. Another cauldron. Um, the additional fires in a three by three underneath the cauldron will make it cook faster. Another recipe is much faster. And just use one flame. This also applies when you have stoked the cauldron as well. The stoked flame of the bocce will apply its effects better if the entire three by three. Okay, the cauldron is a bulk cooking device that can cook massive amounts of food and other crafting recipes. With this, you can toss massive amounts of foodstuffs into it at the start of a new day, go out and do digging work, and come back to most of your foods, foodstuffs cooked. Lava will not work. It simply lacks the ability to heat up uniformly, and the radiate heat is much lower overall. Um, the block directly under the cauldron must be fire for it to put If you need to come on. Okay. Okay, okay. So, all right, so we're going to use this for now. We have a little bit more of this stuff. Oh, no. Hey, don't burn my book up. <laughs> I was just kidding, game. We have a little bit of this, so we almost can do... So, oh, okay, so that's one of the things I wanted to do. I just want um, a hopper. Can I make, like, some... Like, one of these? So, okay. I should have all the pieces parts. I need one of these, and I need, like, five of these. Let's see if this works. I'm pretty sure it will. Let's go here, and I want to make one of these. Four slot hopper made of wood. I think I could take this and right click it onto there. Yeah. Okay. And then just get a little bit of wood out of here. My friend Tofu was telling me about this, and I think it's going to work like a dream. So we need one, two, three, four, five. Let's just try it with five and make sure this works. Okay, that did work. Okay, so the question is, how do I get... I have to throw it in here? Okay, so that should do a little bit of automation and get, my, get me my other pieces. That's going to be below the cauldron. Do I have the ability to light these things on fire? I'm not using these those raggedy sticks. No way, man. I'm using one, two, three, four, like five, six. These guys. These are the guys I want to use because they're super good. Yeah, fire starters. Not the rest of that crazy junk. Is this working like I want it to? It is. All right, let's go Let's go down. I'm going to show you my under under underwater base. Oh, I need to get some food before we go. It's always something crazy game. Um, let's bring this with us, and then we will eat it. 
in a minute. All right, so here's what I did. I made it so I do need to put a block like right there, but I made it so this was even. I just thought that was better. And I put away my torches. <laughs> oh, idiots. All right, that's okay. Let's. Oh, man, my pick might break too. Whatever. Crazy game. All right, so we're going to go like this. Let me like fix this mess real quick. Okay. So we want the we want the blocks. We got to do it. We got to dig a 9 by 9 hole. Okay. And then I want to put Okay, it's got to be too deep. I think And then these guys are going to go down here. Okay. And then we can light this. And then we can go like so. And our cauldron should be able to go like this. All right, because the fire directly below the cauldron has to be fire, according to the thing. Okay. Great, pick just broke. That's okay. Let's go fix it real quick. And then we can get the rest of our charcoal and hopefully be able to light it up. Do I have more flint in here? I do. Yeah. Boom, boom. Perfect. All right, let's see. Is this all done while we've been downstairs messing around? It should be good to go. Ha, ha, ha. Let's go. Oh, torches. What do we do with our torches? We had them. Well, did it consume those? It did. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm with it now. It that that make those twelve torch arrows. It had to consume my stuff. Okay, so let's go like this. Let's make some more torches. I don't mind making this big recipe. It's actually kind of cool, All right? We go like that. We go like that. We go like that. We get twelve torches. Don't be trying to rob me any more game. Okay, do we have leather? No. Dang it. Let's get leather. I don't know. Maybe three. Sure, why not? That works. All right, let's go back down into our underwater, underground entrance. And now we can put all these down. And we can do... Okay, now um, I think we should have brought a crafting table down here. I was so hurt, excited to go and start working on stuff that I didn't do the thing, some of the things I was supposed to do. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go here and let's go here. Make a crafting bench and let's make it one of these so we can stick stuff in it. Okay, all right. All right, let's go. All right, so we'll just put this guy up here in the front, and then let's do like this. I think this... I think this should work. That way we don't get burned up. Right? Okay, now... Now, okay, let's put this down.
All right, and how does this, can this attach to the side? Yes. Okay, so this goes in here. These get, you can't just like spam click it. You gotta click it like in order. of that stuff. We did all this stuff in in Ceftech. This is like the exact same process we went through in Ceftech. Might as well get these three pieces and then we'll put them in a cauldron. Gives me an opportunity to drink some barley tea. Yum. All right, there's our three pieces of that. That worked like a dream. And then I think we just throw these in here. Okay. So that works, right? These things may... I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen to them. We'll find out when it actually happens. All right, let's take a look here and see. So that's now done. Oh, we did get credit for that. Okay, yeah, that's cool. All right, so this is happening now. And from there, we're going to get a gearbox, and we're going to get a wooden axle that we have to make. And then finally... We'll be able to maybe do some obsidian here in the near future. Okay. Oh yeah, we can dump. Oh, let's let's do the thing real quick. So can I throw like a whole bunch of? Oh, it's nighttime out of here. Let's not get killed by bot mobs. Okay. So can I take like all this uncooked food? That I might have laying around like that. I need to get like a rotation of it. Man, it didn't help me very much. Like I need a rotation of foods. You know what I mean? No, I mean. All right. So if I go. Like throw all that stuff in there. Now the question is, right, so this is right. Oh, I need bark. Dang. Okay, hold on. I need bark. It's not working. We have lots of bark. We don't know if we have lots. We have some. Let's put go put all of this in there. Maybe that too. Might as well just burn up all the bark we have. Please go in. Hi. Okay, there we go. Put the bark in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this is cooking all kinds of stuff. Oh, I love it. All right, it's taking care of business. All right, so we just need one piece. We can complete our quest if we get that. We have two now. Okay, tan leather, get. Okay, claim. Back. Okay. So now, yes, windmill. Okay, I didn't know that windmill was going to be next, but that's okay. That's cool. And then we're going to be able to do this. We need to get 10 obsidian. Plus one level. All right. And obsidian is made from... Really? We Can we make... I don't think we should. So I just because we can doesn't mean we should, I think. Right? What is this? Potion bag. Thanks, bro. Gave me one of those things. All right. So now, okay, we can make obsidian. So I guess that means we, they want us to go to another. Then enchanting. We need to go deeper. We got to get that done first. And then they're going to want us to make another rack. Why don't we just get that while we go there? Yeah. All right. Wooden axle. Axles are wood tight tied tightly with rope. They act as a means of transmitting continuous mechanical power. It cannot transmit power from a hand crank. Only three powered axles may be placed in a row. Adding another axle will result in that axle breaking under the strain of its own weight. Yeah, okay, we know all about it, right? And that is treated wood planks and hemp rope which is made out of hemp fibers which you get from
Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to have to process some some hemp. What's our reward? We get a food bag. Okay, and then also gearbox. And the gearbox is made of redstone latch, gold nuggets. Oh, man. Okay, we're it's about to get real. <laughs> Around up in here. Okay, and then we also need treated wood, and we need some more wooden gear. So, okay, so we're going to be able to make a gearbox, but we're going to have to hit the mines and find more coal. Right? And we have a little bit of ability to treat some more wood. But we're not doing great when it comes to that stuff. We have 18. I mean, that's enough to make a couple things. Yeah. It's just not, not great. Okay. So let's first of all, let's do the thing. So let's grab. So I think we need like 12. Bring 12 pieces of hemp. More than that, maybe. 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's do 18, maybe. Okay, and then we might as well bring with us this treated wood. Okay, gear, box. This guy. Huh, interesting. Interesting. And then we need a little bit of gold, which I don't even know if we have. I think we might have... Did we ever find gold? So making a gearbox is going to be quite difficult. Hmm. Because we don't have gold. We can melt stuff. Like that. Hmm. Okay. Alright. I see how this game is going to make us do. Man, you can't... Oh. You gotta, you gotta just let it. You gotta let the game <laughs> tell you how to go. Sometimes you get ahead of yourself. You're like, oh, I'm gonna make all this crazy stuff, and then it just doesn't work out. All right. So then we want to go here, and this might be like one of those off the camera type things, and we're gonna start grinding this stuff away, drinking some of our barley tea, which makes sense. You know, we're grinding hemp and we're drinking barley tea. definitely between the episodes I'm gonna have to hit the mines and like hit the mines hard and see if I can't scrounge up scrounge up some uh, coal because we got to get more traded wood that's gonna be a huge issue for us I wish we can make that stuff a different way Yeah, this takes a while. Okay, let me see. Uh, creosote. There's no other way to make creosote except for coal and blocks of coal. Okay. And there's no way to get coal except for breaking down a block of coal, smelting coal, grinding coal, Cooking coal, finding it in the overworld. Okay, so we're going to li literally just have to go mine. Okay. Well, let's get uh, see if we can't get at least these axles taken care of. And then we're probably good for today's episode. Maybe we'll make it a little bit shorter so it's not a mile long. We did good work. We got the cauldron fired up and working. But you know we're taking care of business around here. We're not horrible at this game. <laughs> so we need six pieces of this. And then two pieces of treated wood, I guess, to make the thing. We just can't make the gearbox because we can't make a redstone latch because we don't have any gold. Until we get the... So I'm not sure how to do a stoked thing. Unless I can just put that in a thing. Let's check it out. Oh, it's over here. Okay, hold on. Um, gold. Gold nugget. I can just... No. That's no good. Okay, I can smelt one thing. But if I use a stoked cauldron, I get so much more. So I have to do it that way. Because I only have one gold piece. 
that gold thing. This will give me enough to make a couple gearboxes. So do I go down that path? I mean, it's not really asking me to. All right, let's go here. Axel. Axla. Okay, one of these. Okay. Complete this. We're going to get some food. That's good. But we can't make the gearbox. Okay. And that means we can't make this guy yet. This wind chime thing. All right. So how are we going to get gold? Let's just go up and verify. I mean, I guess we could go... I don't even know if we can mine gold. I'm betting the answer is no. We cannot. Okay, let's just check. We have tin, copper... Yeah, we don't have any gold. Aluminum. Okay. We did get this, though. So if we made it a thing... Stoked. Cauldron. Okay. What's a hibachi? One of these. Cauldron Hellfire. Cauldron. Hellfire Dust. Hopper recipes. Oh, so we have... Oh, 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 oh okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's going to make us go into the nether to get soul sand. I've done this before. It's, it's crazy. Throw, and it gives us that, and then we put that... Okay, so... <laughs> now, I guess... Did I find any lava in all my journeys? I think the answer is no, I did not. Okay, so how do I make lava? Can I make lava somehow? Okay, the fluid replicator. These are not, these are not the droids we're looking for. Alright, so that's not going to be so good for us. Lava tank, that's all that. Lava clay bucket. So to make lava, we have to use UU matter, and we're way far away from UU matter. Okay. So we have to find lava. Is this a kind of tank? Um, not a rain tank, like a tank tank. Like some cheapo tank? Creosote oil tank. Tank. Alright, um, because... Where was that? I think it's on my map. Look. Let's go over and explore. And then if so, if this is what I think it is right over there. I think it's open world lava. And if that's true, let's let's see if we can't make at least one piece of obsidian today. It's absolutely open world lava. Okay. Wow, that's a nice nice thing of it too all right let's go back over to the house we're gonna have to um move our operation over there to make enough lot because i don't want to run back and forth every time but we'll do it now do i have my that's okay we're right by an ocean i was just like oh i need some water but we're right by a little pond so we're in okay shape or a river or whatever it is okay okay so now I find it hard to believe that this is how this thing works. All right, hold on. I take this like that. Okay, obsidian, wooden basin, wooden basin. Is that true? It says. Well, can I put? Can I actually put? That doesn't even sound right. No. What 
Well, that's right. It didn't even burn up or anything. Okay, sweet. So, that means next time, I guess we're going to the nether. Man, we did good work today. We made an underground cool base. We hooked up our millstone and our, our little mechanical clicker thing. We got lots of hemp. We made hemp fiber. We made an axle. We um, got our cauldron up and running. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my Engineer's Life series, where we're taking care of business every day in every way. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. This video and hundreds like it was made through the support of my amazing patrons. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave.